Chapter 23 I followed him up and over the ridge. He took me over Highway 580, walking quickly forward now, up alongside the sheets of chain link strung up against a fall. Like a dream, we cut down Santa Clara, and then northeast up a small side road called Jean, and past a peach-flavored craftsman home at the corner of a small but steep path named Alta Vista. I looked up on high toward the heavens, and the cottons were plump, and the sky was a decadent blue, and the air hit my lungs very clean. I saw him ahead of me, but paused at an elm tree at the corner of these two streets, as a benevolent force drew my eyes up the face of the west wall of the craftsman to the small window looking down. And behind the cream-painted planters, with Lily of the Valley peeking out, was a face and eyes of an older woman looking down on us, and I saw great and unexpected kindness in those eyes. I knew not who she was, only that she was one of us, Deluxe, for she gave me her thoughts. Her name was Anne. She welcomed me. This was her territory. She wished me well. I turned toward her and put my hands together in prayer position and bowed my head in deference, then walked into the sky.